It's Saturday morning, everybody. I am headed to our local town to pick up my mower that's broken for warranty, and I figured I'd take just a couple minutes to talk about the R-Max and the axle issue that I had. My previous video, I, I showed everybody the axle that failed on me while I was riding, and I won't get into that, but I'm, I'm on my way to town, so I said, hey, I'll call and check on the R-Max, and the dealership uh, service manager got on the line, and I was talking to him, and he said, look, man, we, we're trying to get the axle, and nobody has one, and, and Yamaha is telling us that they're on back order. And, again, people get on here and, and talk all kinds of, of smack about Yamaha and whatnot. And, and I'm not mad about it. I'm a little disappointed that I've broken down twice. And the axle doesn't bother me nowhere near as much as the, as the transmission. But, again, I say it all the time. It is what it is. It's a high-horsepower machine, a broken axle. I'm not overly worried about it. I am a little perturbed that parts are so hard to get, but I work in the heavy equipment and trucking industry, and we can't get parts on a daily basis. So, you know, it's it's not, I don't think it's Yamaha's fault. I don't think it's uh, my dealership's fault. So, again, the axle's broken. They don't have one to put back in it. And I've got them looking at a couple other things. I don't know if you guys have had issues with your door handles. Uh, and so my driver door, when you pull the door handle, it stays pulled open. And if you don't manually reach down there and push it back in, your door will bounce open when you try to shut it because the, the latch is pulled, right? you got to push and shut, and then it'll, it'll shut just fine after that. I've got them looking at that. If they can lubricate it and get it right, that's fine. If not, they're going to replace the door handle on it. I said that I was going to talk about the warranty the last time that I did the video, and I got sidetracked while I was doing it, and I didn't touch on that. So the warranty on the R-Max. I, I contacted them over and over and over again, and I could not get anybody on the phone. So long story short, I reached out to my dealer, and I was like, look, I bought this thing from you. I can't get Yamaha's yes people on the phone. I can't get their customer service on the phone. And it, I said, I'm just tired of doing it. I said, I'm going to lean on to you guys. You should be able to get them uh, on the phone and, and tell them what's going on. So I requested the full five-year extended warranty for free. You know, I say, hey, swing for the fences, see what happens. So they did reach out to me. Yamaha themselves called me back, talked to me for a little bit, and they said that they were not able to do the five-year warranty for free. However, if I was to buy the Yamaha warranty extended for the first year on me, they would give me two years for free. So my six months is, I think it may have just ran out, but two or three weeks ago, I went ahead and bought that one year. And after that, they added two years onto it. So she told me over the phone, hey, call your dealer, buy the one year. And I won't disclose what I paid my dealer for because they have their own pricing and things like that. But I will tell you, they took care of me. Uh, I got a really good deal on the one year. And so I got a number, an extension for a person to call back because she was the one that offered me the warranty. In full disclosure, I have been calling her for a week and a half and leaving messages with her, and I have gotten nowhere. Um, of course, they record all that stuff, so I have them on uh, record saying that they'd give me the two years. But as of right now, it was promised to me, uh, I do not have it. So according to Yamaha, I can have two additional free years of warranty, which would give me three years, six months total from the date of purchase. Uh, but I don't have any documentation on that. I don't have confirmation that they actually added it right now i just have the one year that i actually paid for i will update everybody on that when i get it um, so that's all i got for today i was just riding into town uh, picking up my mower and i wanted to give everybody an update on that again axle back ordered they said at least two weeks it's already been there almost two weeks so you can figure that uh we've already got i've, I've lost a month because of an axle there is no aftermarket axles that I can find, and I honestly don't see a reason to upgrade them. Um, I think maybe this has been a, a glitch or it could have been a bad manufacturing part, and me not being able to get one tells me that uh, they, they probably don't have any because they, it's a new axle. Nothing else is running it, and the aftermarket companies haven't started making anything yet. So long story short, if I break another one, uh, I'll probably throw aftermarket axles in the front of the machine. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, if you've got any questions or concerns, let me know. Uh, hour update, I put that on the last video, but I'm, I'm somewhere around 300 miles on it. And 
uh, I don't remember the hours, but I think it's something 30, 30 hours maybe. Uh, but I, I listed that in the last video. But yeah, any questions, let me know. I appreciate it. See you later.